what are some of the damages that could happen to your stomach when you have high blood pressure? Remember before we were talking about the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. When your body is under a lot of stress, your blood pressure goes up, but then you have less blood flow towards the stomach and towards the digestive system. So your stomach will not work properly. Let's try some examples. Remember to the time when you are really sick, you have a cold, and you have fever. This is when your body is under stress. And how does your stomach feel? Not too good. You may have indigestion, you may have reflux, you may even vomit. The stomach get weaker and do not work properly when your body is under stress. What about another example? When you are pregnant, there are a lot of things that happen to your body when you're pregnant. So your body is under a lot of stress. You have to supply blood to yourself and your unborn baby. You probably undergo a lot of mental stress. Pregnant women tend to have stomach problems like morning sickness. So when your body is under stress, it can cause problems to your stomach. When you have high blood pressure, the stress do not go away. If you have chronic lung disease, the stress not going to go away. If you have severe depression or severe anxiety, the stress doesn't go away. If you do not sleep properly, if you only have one or two hours of sleep every night, that is also a stress. If you have anemia that doesn't go away, that is also a stress. And if that stress is very high and it's there all the time, then your stomach is going to suffer. Eventually, the stomach will get weaker and weaker. You start to become more selective with what food you can eat. In a way, you are becoming more healthy food intolerant, like what I said before. You will not be able to eat a variety of food. You will not be able to eat unprocessed food. Try some example. An apple that's very healthy. Slowly you will lose your ability to eat an apple. An apple pie on the other hand may be okay. A bowl of fresh salad. Yummy yummy. But if you have a weak stomach, you cannot eat a bowl of raw salad. A bowl of soup may taste a lot better. Slowly the stomach will get weaker and weaker and I've seen with some of my patients eventually you will only be able to eat a small amount of a small amount of food at a time and the food has to be really really soft. Also you could have stomach ulcer which could worsen that problem and it's also caused by stress because the stomach are not supported by your body they do not work properly when your body is under stress so that is some of the damages that could happen to your stomach when you have high blood pressure what are some of the damages that could happen to your intestine when you have high blood pressure again when you have high blood pressure your body is under stress and when your body is under stress the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated and when the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated you have less blood flow towards your intestine now your intestine is an area where the lining of your intestine needs to be renewed continually to protect itself from damage so if you get less blood flow to the intestine that process is going to be affected. You might have inflammation along the intestine. Similar to the stomach, your intestine will become weaker and weaker and it will be more selective with what food you can eat. There will be some food that the intestine cannot digest properly. But eventually, it will get weaker and weaker and you can only eat certain foods. You cannot eat all foods. In a way, it could contribute to you having uh, irritable bowel disease. That are some of the damages that could happen to your intestine when you have high blood pressure.